so many houses going in. Shut the front door. This Shut the enormous. front door. This whole closet is just a little bit smaller than our whole entire house in Hawaii. Look how many seating options there are outside. Does it smell like Hobby Lobby in here to you? Holy flipping crap. You look incredible. Oh, thanks. What are you all dressed up for? I don't Anything else. You look so pretty. Thanks. Oh my gosh. Tuck in my bra straps. Babe, for me. yellow is your color. Yeah, I got your bra I love straps. Yellow. Are they in the back? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, how are you? Are you excited to go look at houses? Excited. Me too. This is like my favorite new hobby with you, babe. <laughs> is looking at homes. It's pretty fun. You just get to play pretend like you are a homeowner. Okay, I just did some research, you guys. Like you're on I... house hunters. Yeah, I know. It feels like we're on a TV show when we do this stuff. Did you find um, places for us to look at? Yeah, so the builders that we really liked. Yeah. In Utah, They're they here. have some properties here and I wanted They're to go look at. So They're really expensive, maybe out of our budget, but I kind of want to go look at them anyway. Is that okay? <laughs> Let's just go look at them. Let's fun. go look at them for fun. It's kind of a fun little hobby. <laughs> guys it is really really pretty out here we're out like pretty are far outside of phoenix um, are we north yeah i think we're in no well, i think we're north of phoenix yeah and there's lots of oh my gosh there's swirl cactuses everywhere. everywhere literally everywhere they're huge it's so pretty and these mountains are gorgeous i feel like we're in a desert village of some sort i love the I cactuses we're in radiator wow. springs oh yes and we just watched the movie cars recently it's such a good movie <laughs> Wow, that is gorgeous. All I know right now is I want to incorporate cactuses into our future home in some way. I just think they look so cool out here, especially in the desert. Holy cow, holy cow. Yeah, we gotta hurry. We have literally four minutes to look at this house. This is insane, you guys. I think this is a little bit out of our budget, Abby. <laughs> This is ridiculous. It's crazy to me that houses like this exist. In our planet. In our planet. This is ridiculous. What the heck, dude? This is ridiculous. The landscaping outside too. Oh, I love the little cactuses like on the fence there. This is really pretty, dude. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what did you bring this to? Dude, what is this place? What the? This is the prettiest backyard I've ever seen in my life. Dude. This is the most beautiful house I've ever seen in my I, life. I, 100% this is the, hot tub. This, this is a hot tub? I thought this was just like a little fountain thing. Dude, that's literally a hot tub, you're so right. And then you got that patio. Holy crap. Look at this place. What the heck? Abby, this is ridiculous. What the heck? This is way too much. What are oh we my gosh. Fun to imagine to play this is pretend. This is really fun to play pretend. I feel I like love this what shower the heck? tub setup. Oh my gosh. Abby, this is ridiculous. It's oh. <laughs> a little dog station. We got a dog shower in here. <laughs> Stop laughing There's so other long. People in here. I think that was the most beautiful house I've been in, but that was so awkward because like it's clearly a house out of our budget and we were there right before it closed and I don't think they wanted us to be there. Yeah, we walk in, there's like four minutes to look at the house before they close and they're like, we're about to lock up. I'm like, well, I'm sorry. I just wanted to come peek real fast, but I'm so glad we peeked. Okay, well, I... what did we really take away from that though, Matt? Like, Dude, I just, I'm just glad I got to experience I'm that sorry, personally. I'm not Oprah. I'm like, I have chills. Look at my arm. I have freaking chills. I'm like- chills. I don't know. I'm just like, this is really cool. Was it just me there or was it like super extravagant? But there was like, I only saw two bedrooms. The whole purpose of a home is to put people in it. It's that's not a, about That's the a really home. good point. But I, what I loved about that house is there was tons of space for entertainment and entertaining. So I feel like you could have tons of friends and guests over and have a really good time in a place like that. You feel me? Yeah. That, also, that was crazy. just check out the view here. <laughs> And this is everything I want and more in a neighborhood. It's so remote. You're out in the middle of nowhere. So much desert, so many mountains. Is this considered a valley, Abby? With like being- You would know better than me, but I would guess so. There's like tall hills right there and yeah. flat, low-lying land here. Oh gosh, and these houses are just 
beautiful. Your plots, like your land plots here are really big. Now we're looking at couches at Ashley Furniture Home Store. How do we feel, babe? I know which one I like. Dude, I like the feel. Okay, I like how that couch over there is much bigger, but this one has a better color. I like the white, and I, I like the feel. I, like I like the cushion this is gonna get of this one. Way faster. That's true, but I feel like there's also I feel like there's also sprays that you could just spray down to make things less sustainable. Sustainable is that a word? I rarely have opinions on stuff like this, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm really chill, mm -hmm. and I've been thinking about that sectional since we, we came here like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I love this, and I haven't stopped loving it. And Matt just sits on it, and he goes, I don't like it. Okay, you know what? You're the boss. You're growing our baby, so you get the last word. <laughs> well, I want you to like it too. It's freaking expensive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean... I get what you're saying. I feel like it is grander. It does look more fancy because it's it's taller. Something that I do agree with you on. We need that. We are buying this. This is the coolest thing ever. I am obsessed with this. It looks incredible, doesn't it? Yeah, I need that. Yep. Also, Abby's really into this face, but it is um, $200 and I feel like it's, that is a ripoff. Oh, it is $200. Abby's been farting all over. Yeah. Ashley, furnish your home store. I think you going to start the camera and say that. <laughs> Abby really likes this table, and I agree, Abby. I think it's a very good move. We should happening. just get that one. <laughs> Everyone at this furniture store is complimenting Abby's dress. Very pretty. I'm all dressed up for furniture shop. You are. That's a really nice dining table. I like your taste, babe. Thanks. Good thinking. I also like that bed. You have good taste in that, too. My one worry, though, is like, while the bed looks really nice over here, I worry about the quality. It's like when you open up the drawers. When I was in fourth grade, okay. we bought a house. Yeah. And I got to pick out a bedroom set at Ashley <gasps> Furniture. Yeah. And I used that from the age of 10 to 20. Okay. And nothing ever went wrong. That's true. That's a good point. It's like a black. Sponsored, sponsored by Ashley, Ashley Furniture <laughs> Home Store. <laughs> Just kidding, it actually isn't. I do, I, I do really was, like, but... I like all this though. I like the, I do like the headboard. So Abby was just telling me that she's doing pelvic floor exercises right now to help her push out the baby when it comes time for that. And so she says, when it comes time to push, the baby's gonna fly out like a torpedo. Matt said he wants to deliver the baby, so I'm just saying you better have your catcher's mitt on. <laughs> I was good. Okay, we're back in the car. Unfortunately, Ikea's food court was closed. We got there at 7.30 and it closed at seven. So now we're headed to Chipotle to do our Chipotle hack. I just want meatballs. I'm so sorry. Backpacks Our Chipotle hack is kind of genius. We it's split genius. a burrito bowl yeah. with double chicken, and then we each get a tortilla, and we have enough for a burrito for each of us, and it like fills us up. And it's like it's basically like five bucks a person. It's pretty freaking awesome. I honestly don't know how we always end up at Chipotle whenever we leave the house. What has happened to us? We did get a Diet Coke, and after everything, it was 15.24, which is really good when you're thinking about dinner for two people. I mean, that's a good price. The extra chicken is an extra $2.95, so if you want to be like super cheap, don't get double chicken, but- We need protein. We need some protein in our life. Okay, this wasn't part of the plan, but Matt's apparently still hungry. So he went to Popeye's and he's We're refusing to eat it in our new car because he doesn't want to stink it up. Wow, Popeye's is really bringing the heat with this. Okay, thing, take your first bite with us. I think Chick fil is better. Dudes, what is up? We're having a good morning today. Abby is making us some waffles. In the some morning, confetti. I'm waffles. <laughs> some confetti birthday cake waffles. It is a nice rainy day out, so we just kind of feel like staying inside right now. We've been wearing our aura rings now for a few days, and they are flipping awesome, you guys. Huge shout out to Aura, by the way, for sponsoring this video. We appreciate you guys. It's like our favorite morning conversation. Like, oh, like we wake up, we're like, let's check our sleep. And like, we compare each other's sleep. It's really fun. The Aura ring is on your finger, which your index finger actually has arteries that go back to your heart. So it has a very accurate reading. Yeah, that's why like doctors, when you go to the doctor, they do your heart reading from your finger. But let me show you what my sleep looked like on the Aura app. So if you're looking at my app, I got a total sleep last night of 
eight hours and 36 minutes. My efficiency was 89%. The problem is you guys is it's, it's telling me that my restfulness, my latency and my timing needs work. You can see that all in the red and Abby's, if you look at Abby's, hers <laughs> is all in the blue because she sleeps way better than me. It's really important for us to get good sleep. First of all, because it's like a major factor in having good health. It's like the quality of your sleep. But also with us having a baby on the way, sleep is gonna be getting, we need to be a lot more intentional with sleep coming up. Mm -hmm. And obviously our efficiency is gonna change with sleep, but it's really good to just be on top of that and track it. And as a female, I am extremely thankful for all the research that Aura Ring has done into women's health specifically. Mm -hmm. They put so much, like so much research that other brands aren't doing into studying women and their cycle specifically because it tests your body temperature. It can even pr start predicting cycles. It can tell you if you're getting sick yeah. Things like that. I mean, with everything going on right now, that's mm -hmm. incredible. I'm a huge fan of this sleek design. Look how sick this looks, Abby. Doesn't this look really cool on my finger? Yeah. I got mine to... Oh, where's your... Can you go put on your wedding ring, please? <laughs> I got mine Ooh. to match my wedding ring. Look Silver. at that ice. And Matt got his to match his wedding ring, right? Yeah, we got matching ones for our wedding rings, which Wait, is really cute. We should do a knuckle bump. With yeah, our knuckle rings. bump. <laughs> <laughs> Mayday, oh. Mayday, we had an implosion. Butter on the ceiling. Oh, <laughs> that was butter that popped? Yeah. Hey, this is pretty fancy. Abby, you're really good at making waffles, dude. Ready? Oh, oh, oh. Very good. Very, very good. Thank you again so much to Aura for sponsoring this video. You guys should definitely check out the link in the description and get yourself an Aura ring. It literally comes <laughs> with a six month free membership. So don't miss out on that amazing offer. <laughs> Wow, this is a really pretty layout. Cute. This is really cute. I like it. It's very well decorated. I love the painting on the wall. <laughs> Got. Oh, we need to have in our guest bedroom, Sappy. We should have some like paintings above it like that. I like it when you have the two frames together. It's a little plain. That's true. All white. Yeah. You like all white though. Dude, so I really like all white, but then I feel like you need to have things in the room to bring in color. Like right here, I love how the bed, and you got that nice headboard. You've got all the different colors right there with the comforter and everything. And then you got these cute like graphics on the wall. Those mirrors would be so sick in our house. Yeah. I love how it just, boom, like, hey, look, it's us. Like, I feel like mirrors must make it feel like there's another room. Does it smell like Hobby Lobby in here to you? excited to have a house because I'm just can't wait to cook again. You Dude, know what I mean? Have I people that. over, like make them dinner. Because I feel like so many people are so sweet and like welcoming us to Arizona, like making us dinner, having us mm -hmm. over at their house. And we're like, we can order pizza at our <laughs> studio and you totally. can come over, which is fine. And they're totally gracious and like excited to do that. But I just want to cook someone a meal. I want to cook you a meal. I want to wake up and just like cook. I don't think we've actually like full on made a meal since moving here. We haven't. No. We haven't had breakfast the capacity to. Eggs. Oh yeah, breakfast, but not a dinner. So this cute house is a four bedroom, two bathroom, which is honestly perfect. We wanna have extra bedrooms for family. We wanna have another bathroom so that we don't have to share a bathroom with our family when they come visit us. That's what we did in Hawaii, literally, like legitimately. We shared a bathroom with my parents when they visited us. Oh, and they also slept on our couch. So now that we're, we're buying an actual house. We definitely need four bedrooms in a future house. Oh, yeah, one four bedrooms. One for bedroom. us, one for baby, and then yeah. since no family two, lives yeah. here, we need at least two. Two guest bedrooms. bedrooms, and then hopefully like an office space. Where would the office be in this house, babe? Where would you put the office? Maybe you could like split a bedroom and have it be an office and yeah, a bedroom. That, that would be a move, yeah. wouldn't it? That would be a move. I like the floors a lot. Yeah, the floors look really nice in here. And I, my favorite thing, you know what it is, Abby? Let's see if you can guess it. Oh, it's a sliding glass door. Yeah, you can see all the way back into the backyard immediately when you enter the house, which I think opens up a space a ton. This is actually a bedroom. This is really cool. This is a bedroom, but they just- But they made it into an office? Yeah, because there's a closet, a window, and a bathroom. For it to be a bedroom, you have to have a window and a closet. So, like, even if you that. have bedrooms in a basement, if there's no window- Doesn't count? No. I love this type of setup. Yeah. So you have, like, a guest bedroom, like, a little guest, like, office living space, uh, and then a bathroom, and then another bedroom. Yeah, that, that is cute. That great for a family. I like that headboard a lot. 
<laughs> we should have a space room for our kids. That would be really cute. Little I like that. This is so cute. Astronomy club. Wait, what if we made our baby's bedroom a space bedroom? That's changing up the plan, I know. I know I already said we should do a Toy Story themed. Oh, no. Uh, we haven't bought anything for the baby yet, so. <laughs> Look how many seating options there are outside. You have one, oh my two, gosh. three, four. Dude, they would have a chair out here for like our whole entire extended family. That's kind of funny. How do you feel, a Abby? There's a gazebo over there, a little grill. We need to get a grill. Yeah, we need a grill. What do you think about the turf? I used to hate the turf. I thought it looked no, too fake. I love, I love it now. I love the turf. Doesn't it look great? We hate to mow. Oh, yeah. I don't want to mow the grass. Do you Plus, want to mow the grass? I don't want to water the grass. People spend a lot out here to water the grass. That... I love this kitchen. I definitely Oh, you're so right. I love how the cabinets go all the way to the ceiling. Yes. The under cabinet lighting and in the cabinet lighting. I feel like it just adds so much. And is this called backsplash? I kind of like the yeah. look of that too. Yeah, I like more color. You know, I'm more eclectic than Matt. Yeah, you like some character in a house. See, these are just the sticky lights. No way. Ah, oh, yeah. I could put those in myself. <laughs> Shut the front door. This Shut the enormous. front door. What is this crazy bathroom we're in? You turn it on right here. And what? I want it. Look at this closet. Dude. This incredible closet. This whole closet is just a little bit smaller than our whole entire house in Hawaii. Yeah. I don't think we have enough stuff to fill a closet like this. We literally don't. Guys, all of our belongings. My parents just packed it up for us in Missouri and all of our belongings like put into one box is smaller than this. We put it in a little moving box. They did it for us. It's literally all of our all of our belongings could fit. Pack it in that tight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That was super cool. Yeah, looking at homes is so fun. I don't think I'll ever stop looking at homes now. I no. think it's just kind of fun. Just as a date, we should do dates where we just look at houses for fun. It's just fun to like play pretend and be like, if we lived here, we would do this yeah. with the house. And like, totally. It's like you get to do like this. The same reason why you, I like watching HGTV. You know? Oh, I love HGTV. Like house hunters yeah. or things like that. But like you get to like kind of play it yourself. Yeah, and it's cool. Like right now, you guys look at this neighborhood. You can see all these new homes going up. So. So many houses going in. I love, love new homes because it's just, it's cool to be the first owner in a house. Everything is clean, everything yeah. is brand new. Nothing's gonna really break down on you most likely. But the problem is, is that like we have a baby on the way. Yeah, we do. And it would be super nice to bring a baby home to our home and not just like a temporary thing. Totally. Obviously the studio is not gonna work for a baby. Oh, not at all. So, I mean, we could make it work, but it wouldn't be great for the baby. Yeah. So, I think we need to start looking at houses that are not like literally new constructions. Yeah, maybe like even a year old would be incredible. That would be perfect. That would be perfect. These houses are pretty sick. Like you can see right here, this whole neighborhood is just so new, you guys. And it'd be awesome to have a house in a brand new neighborhood like this, but I totally agree with you, Abby. I think we're just gonna have to buy a home that's already built. Or I, I guess think we, we could need do. To start looking really quickly because once you buy a home, you have to wait so long. You have to inspections, yeah. you have to do appraisals, yeah. all that stuff. And I don't want to be super pregnant moving into a house. I already feel super pregnant. Oh, and the other thing, you guys, is we only have a two month lease at our current place. So once our two months is up, we're done. We got to figure something else out. Already so used one month. If you yeah. haven't hit the like button yet, go ahead and do that right now. It really helps us out and smash the subscribe button as well. <laughs> No. And thank you again to this video sponsor, Aura Ring. These rings are so sick. Definitely check out the link in the description. And as always, peace, peace out, out, dudes. dudes. Shh. Holy cow, dude, you did it. 21 <laughs> weeks pregnant. I cannot believe you just did that. All of Camelback Mountain.